Hey my sweet bees, it's the sweetest vegan here. Today on the show we will be finishing the butternut squash series by roasting the butternut squash seeds. I've never done it before and I'm excited to see how it turns out. Here we go! So we want to start this recipe by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Next we're going to add water to the bowl that contains our butternut squash seeds and if you're like me you didn't separate them yet. Well the water will help to separate the seeds from all the gooky stringy stuff. Once you have them separated lay out some paper towel on a baking sheet and transfer your seeds to the paper towel. Cover them with another paper towel to help dry them off. They need to be really dry before you start to bake them. You can season them with just about anything that you want to but be careful not to use too many wet ingredients you want these to be really dry so they can roast really crispy and crunchy I'm using a little bit of olive oil and keeping it simple with salt so stir it all together and make sure it's evenly coated before baking it for about 30 minutes I would say I bake these in every 5 to 10 minutes since my heat was a little bit high I just came back to check on them, shake them around, make sure the ones on the edges were not getting too crunchy or too burnt and just kept them moving throughout the baking cycle. And then they were done. Let's give them a taste test. I have to say that butternut squash seeds really aren't my style and I'm assuming that pumpkin seeds aren't either since they're both squash seeds. They're kind of big and flat but they remind me of sunflower seeds. If you ate the whole sunflower seed, the gray hole part and the seed inside because when I open up the squash seed I like the inside part but you can't really separate it as well as you can a sunflower seed so you eat the whole thing if you know differently please comment below and tell me if I'm doing something wrong here but the recipe was simple and easy so if you like butternut squash seeds or pumpkin seeds go ahead make up a bunch or you could just use them as decoration for Thanksgiving or people may like them at your party you never know that is it for today Bye. Buster likes them. Are these poisonous for dogs? Let me know. Turn. No, all feet on the floor. Turn. Okay, lay down. Ew, you sneezed all over me. Back up. Down. Lay down. Good boy.